What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk a little bit about the reception that I've been seeing online to the Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League beta. Now, I want to be very, very specific and very clear to you guys early on in this video. Number one, we are not talking any spoilers on the beta itself. We're not breaking any NDAs, and actually, I haven't even played the game as of the time I'm recording this, okay? I did get into the beta. Thank you to everybody who either asked me or even sent me codes just in case I didn't get in. You all rock. You're an awesome, awesome community, and I don't say that enough, so I really do appreciate your support. But I do want to say this. I want to, I guess, vent, maybe not vent, that's maybe not the right word, but I want to talk a little bit about the looseness in some people's uh, actions online because it's been wild, and this is something that I guess I should have expected. Maybe WB should have expected this, and, and I will say, well, let me just throw in one thing I just thought of right now. I do get worried that things like this, what we're seeing online with this game, would maybe stop companies from doing this uh, in the future. And, you know, like, Quidditch Champions had this, and the amount of stuff that leaked on that game, very, very little, okay? Very, very little of that game, and WB was kind of right on it, and it had the same restrictions, as far as I know, or as I'm aware, as this. You know, when you get into the beta for Suicide Squad, you're not really supposed to talk about, like, anything. Now, look, I'm not necessarily scolding people. Hey, people can do what they want. Um, in some ways, it's been kind of laughable, and in some ways, it's been like, okay, people are doing some pretty smart things. You're seeing a lot of things online of positives, okay? A lot of positivity from at least what I've seen. Um, people not going into depth, and again, we're not doing that. And in fact, uh, flat out honest with you, I haven't seen any any actual specifics of what people actually like about it. I have just seen that it seems like the takeaway is people are really, really impressed with the beta itself. Again, I'm not telling you what I think. And in fact, right now, this very second, I have no opinion on it because I haven't actually touched it, you know, in my own hands yet. Um, so you have that. You have people live streaming this thing. That was one extremely hilarious thing I saw online. You know, I did a tweet where I just simply said, hey, people, people giving these kind of short, brief descriptions of how they feel about the game on Twitter, I think is already, you know, breaking the NDA. You're really not supposed to do that. But those going even further to live stream the thing, and I think one live streamer actually got taken down live, you know, in the act, and uh, they were completely wiped out, and that account's not coming back, I don't think. Um, you know, it's just interesting for sure. Again, I do get a little concerned that because this is so big, and there's already, like, going online and things on, like, Reddit and whatnot, there's been pop-ups, like, all day. Like, people immediately, once they were able to play this thing, shared the footage with, you know, either websites like Reddit or talked to different leakers. Um, I know, you actually, Miller Ross, something we talked about yesterday, he was, and I'm not, like, throwing these people under the bus, but you had people like him, people like Tom Henderson, uh, saying, like, hey, anybody that wants to, like, talk to them privately can, can do it and can give them their impressions of the beta. So you have insiders kind of getting information you have clips already shared you know online and just compared to quidditch and also multiverses like they did this for multiverses too i don't know i just don't think those had the uh like backing <laughs> that that this game has this game has had a lot of publicity now you know granted is there a thing to talk about where like well why would you do a tech test why would you do a beta and then not allow anybody to say anything about it i think that's fair i honestly think that's fair i've seen a a lot of people say that online and I'll I'll say this too especially from what I'm seeing on Twitter a lot of positivity on this game I think the conversation has actually kind of shifted into people are actually upset that they can't talk about it not because they're going to bash the game which maybe some people thought going in right it's more like hey we actually like what we've been playing, and, and maybe even the trailers didn't do... I saw that. People saying, like, hey, the trailers aren't even doing this thing justice. And so it's actually looking more like, hey, maybe it would actually be better, you know, to allow people, maybe not to share it, but just to give, you know, a, a video or, you know, a tweet, a couple tweets, right? Just a summary of sorts, right, of what they played and, and how they like it. Now, not everybody's going to like it, right? So I guess that's the opposite side where it's like, well, people can still 
play it and then like trash it online if you allow them to talk about it. But you know, we talked about this going in. I think at best with this beta, you make non believers believers, right? I don't really think you change the minds of people that are gonna get the game. I don't think anything really changes that. I think this beta, truly, for those that got in, are for people that, or I mean, what it can change in somebody's head, right? Is for people that were not all that high on it. And then they said, you know what? Maybe I'll give it a buy. Maybe I'll, you know, I'll buy the game. And that's like the best case scenario. So just wanted to throw this video together. Again, I don't know how much more clear. I'm I'm not really saying this to you guys. I think you're all a smart bunch. I'm saying this to any people you know, from WB that are potentially watching this video. You can check my code. You can do whatever you want. I have not put it in. I haven't played it yet. I haven't even downloaded it yet. Okay, so I have absolutely no opinion on the thing myself. I'm not talking about that. All I'm doing is talking about what I've seen. People borderline, you know, breaking their own NDAs online. Um, now, to be honest with you, I will not be doing that, okay? Maybe this video itself kind of puts a target on my back. Um, you're not going to get that from me. I think I'm normally pretty good with that stuff anyway. If I'm told not to say something, I don't say it for, you know, any of this stuff. So, you know, I will be playing it. I won't be telling you what I think about it legally, you know, the way that you're not supposed to. Um, but I do hope that people enjoy it, honestly, and I hope it makes non-believers believers, and we'll just see where it goes, right? Within the next little while, they're never really going to, I think, let off the whole talking about this beta. Like, you're never going to be able to show it. You'll never really be able to talk about it. But obviously, as the next few weeks or even, like, month, two months go... Obviously, there's going to be more discussion on the game, and maybe there'll be an open beta. As soon as there's, like, an open thing, if there is one, right, then you're going to have, obviously, impressions and people talking about it. So we'll just see what happens. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I will say this. Please, if you played the beta, do not, do not tell in the comments. I feel like, I think, legally, that would be breaking the NDA as well. So if you played it, you know, leave a like or something. I don't know, but do not comment. You know, I'm trying to protect you guys here. Uh, don't comment on what you thought of the actual thing. Okay. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Again, thank you all for the support and reaching out. You guys all rock and I'm really happy, you know, we formed this kind of community. Thank you all for watching and I hope to see you all on the next one.